Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today we have some important information to discuss in the world of jailbreaking, specifically the next untethered jailbreak utility and iOS 9.1 versus iOS 9.2, and which of the two are more easily jailbreakable. So before we get into this, this is really a continuation of my recent video covering Luca Tedesco's tweet in which he announced he successfully jailbroken iOS 9.2.1. I will have that linked for you guys on your screens now, as well as down below in the more info. I really recommend watching that video first before continuing on in this one. I'm also going to have another one linked for you guys will get into that more in a little bit, but essentially it's what we know thus far related to Taiji and the release of a new jailbreak from them. All right, so opening up the specific tweet on Luca's Twitter account here, by the way, if you don't know who he is, definitely check out the aforementioned video. I have a complete segment discussing the topic there. He said, quote, PSA 9.2 is much harder to jailbreak than 9.1. So if you are on 9.1, don't update. Now, I don't want you guys to fret if you're on iOS 9.2 or 9.2.1 beta because this could easily be misconstrued and misunderstood. So while he's advising people not to update, the main developers on the scene will definitely release a jailbreak for the latest firmware. They're not going to issue one for an older, already out of date firmware. Guys, remember it is their job to do so. The only point he's trying to make is that iOS 9.1 is jailbreakable without having to burn through additional exploits. In a follow-up tweet, he says, quote, 9.1 has enough public domain bugs to already jailbreak it. I've got kernel code execution on ARM64 with full public bugs. And in releasing a new jailbreak for something like 9.2 or 9.2.1, you'd have to use zero-day exploits, which are essentially previously undisclosed exploits that Apple has no clue exist in iOS yet. And once a jailbreak is released that makes use of zero-day exploits, of course, they will patch it in the release of a new firmware. So he's saying that essentially someone could target iOS 9.1 if they wanted to without disclosing anything new to Apple, and then another jailbreak could be released for the latest firmwares by the heavyweights on the scene, again, Taiji as well as Pangu. But we should neither be excited nor disappointed by this news because when we actually go to the specific Reddit thread discussing this exact topic, he says in reply to someone, quote, I'm not going to take on another jailbreak targeting old versions myself due to lack of interest slash massive drama that ensues if you do so. But I'd like to see the community begin thinking about the future and not only hope that people drop zero days all the time because it's not a viable future given what's going on at Apple security these days. So he's not going to release a new jailbreak for iOS 9.1. He's just pointing out that it is possible for someone to do so with public bugs, again, without burning through new ones. So Taiji and Pangu will always target the latest firmwares. We don't have to worry about that. The next jailbreak from them will encompass and will support your device on whichever firmware it happens to be on. Remember, Taiji is most likely going to target iOS 9.2.1 for the reasoning and explanation behind that. You can check out the second video I have linked below and it should also be on your screens now in card and annotation format. Remember guys, don't get discouraged. There are a lot of interesting things going on right now on the jailbreak scene. I just don't want you guys to be confused or to misunderstand what's actually happening. Remember, if you did update past iOS 9.1, it's not the end of the world and you will be supported by the next official untethered jailbreak, which again, we expect to be released from Taiji shortly. Be sure to click the subscribe button below next to my channel name if you have yet to. That way you'll be completely updated and notified of any and all new developments on the scene. Remember, I release these videos frequently to keep you informed. And if you want to be updated even more often, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. Of course, if you want to win a brand new fourth gen Apple TV, just navigate to freeappsfast.com. After that, earn some points by downloading some apps in the main section. Come back here, rate this video up, and then go to the third tab at the bottom, and you see that referral link Post it in the comments section of my fourth gen Apple TV unboxing. That's the only one that will grant you entries. So be sure to click on the card on your screens now to be taken directly to that video. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick jailbreak update clarifying things. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.